Okay, in this section, which is 8.2, we're going to talk about properties of parallelograms. All right, now a parallelogram is where we have a quadrilateral, where we have opposite sides are parallel. And then this side's parallel to this side. It also means that this side is congruent to this side. And then this side is going to be congruent to that side. Also, this angle is congruent to this angle. And this opposite angle is congruent to this opposite angle. We know if this is angle x and this is angle y, we know that x plus y equals 180 degrees. The last thing that we've found out in this chapter is if we have the diagonals bisect each other at this point, then this is congruent to this, and this segment is congruent to that segment. So using these properties, let's solve some of these problems. I already started this one. I know that this is supplementary. So this is going to have x is going to equal 116 degrees. We know that these guys across from each other are congruent. So B is going to equal 11, and A is going to equal 9. Next, we know that these are going to be congruent to each other, and these are going to be congruent to each other. So I can say 3M equals M plus 8. And then I have 2M equals 8, and M equals 4. What about N? Well, I can say up here, oh god. I didn't even show you that. Again, 3m equals m plus 8, and then we just went down. Next one, I'm going to say that 9 is going to equal 2n minus 1, and we add 10 equals 2n, and n equals 5. Excellent. For this last one, I can, f not this last one, the next one, I know that aeb, which is right here for this one, a, E, B. It's going to be 117 because of vertical angles. Okay. And P, N here. We have to read this, that Q, R, S, and T are midpoints. So this is key, that these are all midpoints. And we know if this is 3, then this is 3, then this is 3, and this is 3. And the whole side here, P, N, is going to be... 12. Alright, and we got some word problems here that I want you to do on your own, but really we'll work on them in class.